Good day engineers Para sa video natin ngayon Ang i-discuss natin will be yung mismong mga equations Or yung equation na dinerive ni Tersagi For the ultimate bearing capacity Of shallow foundations So uh, These equations are based on uh, The shapes of the uh, footing itself So mag start tayo dun sa mismong dinerive ni Tersagi which is for the strip footing or continuous footing. So, nandito siya, uh, which is ito, that is AQU is equal to CNC plus QNQ plus 1 half gamma B N gamma. So, para mabilis nyong matandaan yung equation na yan, kasi at times on the board exam, hindi siya binibigay Uh, and madalas siyang lumalabas sa board exam. So, when I was in review and itinuro din sa amin sa review center, yung pneumonics para mabilis siyang maabisado. So, for uh, the pneumonics, ang ginagamit namin will be sinisi kona ko kalahating isda na naka-jeans. So, kalahating isda na naka-jeans kasi this is Uh, yung B and gamma stands for B and Y, which is a genes. So, that should be the mnemonics for uh, memorizing this type of formula in case na hindi siya given on uh, the board exam. So, ito talaga yung derived na equation ni Tersagi and this is for a strip or continuous footing. Ano nga ba yung strip or continuous footing? So, the figure shown here is the strip or continuous footing. So, ang sinusupport niya madalas are walls. It's either a masonry wall or a shear wall. So, finite yung uh, base niya or yung width ng footing. Pero ito, yung length niya is infinite at hindi natin sure kung ano yung haba niya. Kasi medyo mahaba yan, lalo na kung wall footings yan. So, kaya on the part of the design, kapag nasa design uh, topics na tayo, we design wall footings using a 1 meter strip kasi nga medyo infinite yung uh, length part niya. So, yun yung uh, strip, uh, strip footing or continuous footing. Uh, basically, ang sinusupport niya are walls. It's either a shear wall or uh, a masonry wall. So, Balik ulit tayo dun sa equation, yung sinisi ko na kalhating is da na naka-jeans. So, kunin natin yung mga terms na nandun sa, or yung mga variables na nandun sa equation. So, yung C natin dyan, yan yung cohesion of the soil. So, that is in kilopascal. So, when using this one, don't worry. Uh, hindi natin may encounter dito yung pagkakaroon ng layered clays or stratified soil. Kasi sabi nga natin, homogeneous yung assumption ni Tersagi regarding its ultimate bearing capacity equation. Then, next, meron tayo dyang Q. Yung Q natin dyan, hindi pa yan yung ultimate bearing capacity. But that is the overburden pressure above the base of the footing So, ito yung na-discuss natin on our previous video. So, yan yung may reference na nandito sa base ng footing natin at pataas. So, kung ano man yung nakapatong mula base ng footing pataas, yun yung mga overburden pressure. Uh, pressure. Kagaya dito sa uh, figure natin, ang nakapatong lang sa kanya is yung footing itself and a soil at the top. So, since walang thickness yung footing natin, so, the overburden pressure just consists of the gamma 
times the depth of the footing. So, to be in kilopascal. So, unit weight times the depth of the footing. Uh, next natin will be yung gamma. Kasi meron tayong gamma dito on the uh, third term of the bearing capacity equation. So, yung gamma dyan, that is the unit weight of soil at the bottom of the face of the footing. So, yun yung, ano, yung gamma dun sa third term, which is eto. Unit weight siya at the bottom of the face of the footing. So, ibig sabihin ng analysis na ito, mula dito sa base ng footing, siya yung sa pababa. So, kadalasan sumusukat tayo ng kung ano yung uh, width ng footing natin. Yun din yung sukat ng pagkukuha na natin ng unit weight on our uh, third term. So, ibig sabihin, sumusukat din tayo ng uh, with B downward from the base of the footing uh, itself. Next, yung base B. So, yung base B natin dyan, yan yung smallest dimension ng foundation natin. Or smallest cross-sectional dimension nung uh, footing natin. So, yun nga yung base B which is, uh, can be found here on the third term of our equation. Then, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong dyang NC, NQ, and N gamma which are uh, NC, N, Q, and N, gamma. So, these are the bearing capacity factors. So, yung bearing capacity factors na to, may iba't ibang way kung paano siya makukuha, which will be discussed on ah, uh, the next videos regarding this topic. So, for now, we just have to determine uh, the equations for the ultimate bearing capacity on the different uh, shapes of our footing. So, that will be uh, yung mga variables on the part of uh, the equation for uh, strip footing natin. Now, we can proceed to uh, the rectangular footing. Sa rectangular footing, uh, this one, hindi naman siya yung regular na derived na equation ni Tersagi. But this one is based on also the uh, continuous or strip footing itself. So, for the rectangular footing, we have QU is equal to C and C times 1 plus 0 0.3 times B over L plus Q and Q plus 1 half gamma B and gamma times 1 minus uh, 0 0.2 times B over L. So, yun yung rectangular footing. And alam naman natin na yung rectangular footing is yung isang uh, dimension niya is mas maliit compared dun sa isa. So, yung base, dito automatically yung base natin yung smallest eh. na dimension. And automatically yung L, that is the largest dimension. So, uh, yan ngayon yung equation natin ng rectangular footing. At sa rectangular footing na equation na to, pwede natin ma-derive yung uh, strip footing and yung uh, square footing. So, we'll try to derive the equation for uh, strip footing muna. So, for the strip footing, syempre, alam natin na yung base doon or yung B, that is B itself. And yung L for 
uh, the strip footing that is uh, infinite. So if we substitute uh, these values to our rectangular footing equation, so yung QU, that is equal to CNC times 1 plus, that is 0 0.3 times uh, B is B pa rin, then L is infinite. So, plus Q and Q plus 1 half gamma B and gamma times 1 minus uh, 0 0.2 times B over infinite times uh, B divided by infinite. So, from this given, malalaman na agad natin na a number divided by infinite, so let's say 1 over 1 million. So, that is almost 1 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, that means that is approximately equal to 0 kasi masyado na siyang madaming decimals. That is 0 0.0000006. So, uh, that is uh, considered as 0. So, ibig sabihin, this part of the equation will become 0 and this one will become 0. And as you can see, 0.3 times 0 will be 0 and 0.2 times 0 will be 0. So, we just have 1 here and 1 dito. So, that means mapapalabas natin yung equation which is QU is equal to CNC plus Q and Q plus 1 half gamma B and gamma which is yan yung equation natin ng uh, strip footing and na-derive natin siya using the square footing. So, yun yung importance din nung alam natin yung equation nung rectangular footing uh, just in case na makalimutan natin yung equation for the strip footing. So, eto, etong rectangular footing din na to is may gamit siya on the part of our uh, square footing. So, sa square footing kasi, ito yung equation niya. So, that will be QU is equal to 1.3. CNC plus QNQ plus 0 0.4 gamma B and gamma. So, paano naman natin magagamit yung equation ni uh, rectangular footing for this uh, square footing? So, that is QU. That will be QU is equal to CNC times 1 plus 0 0.3 times B over L plus Q and Q plus 1 half gamma B and gamma times 1 minus 0 0.2 times B over L so yan na ngayon yung uh, equation natin so alam natin na dito sa square footing we have here B is equal to L so, for this one, uh, we can substitute uh, L to our B. So, we have here QU is equal to CNC times 1 plus, that is 0 0.3 times L over L plus Q and Q plus 1 half gamma B and gamma times 1 minus, that is 0 0.2, times L over L. So, as you can see, uh, this will become 1, and this will become 1. So, ngayon, pwede na natin gawin that, uh, ang matitira na lang dito is 0 0.3 times 1. So, that should be 1 plus 0 0.3 na. So, our QU will be equal now to, so, 1 plus 0 0.3, that is 1.3 CNC plus Q and Q plus, that is uh, 1 half gamma B and gamma. And yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, that is 1 minus 0 0.2 na lang kasi that is 0 0.2 times 1. So, now we have here 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. 
So, simplifying further, we have here QU is equal to 1.3 CNC plus uh, Q and Q plus 1 half gamma or simplifying that is 0.8 divided by 2 that is 0 0.4 gamma B and gamma. So, ngayon napalabas natin yung equation nung uh, square footing by just using the rectangular footing equation. So, pwede rin na ganun yung gawin nyo in case na nakakalimutan nyo kung paano yung formula ng square uh, and uh, the strip footing. Kahit yung rectangular footing na lang yung kabisaduin nyo. Then, for our last equation, this is... Uh, Rare din naman na magkaroon ng ganito, which is a circular footing. So, the ultimate bearing capacity is equal to 1.3 CNC plus Q and Q plus 0.3 gamma B and gamma. So, parang binawasan mo lang ng 0.1 yung equation for our square footing. So, that will be all for... This topic regarding uh, the Tersagis bearing capacity equations with the different uh, shapes and types of the footing. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.